The Gilroy shooting is bringing the importance of what's called tourniquet training back to the forefront. CBS 13's Ryan Hill is here in studio to tell us why some people are gravitating towards learning this life-saving method. Yeah, a lot of people are saying it's the modern-day fire drill for a lot of different companies and also just individuals. Some trauma specialists at Mercy San Juan Medical Center say tourniquet training is a skill that they're seeing a lot of these people learn. One woman tells me that she wanted to know how to apply a tourniquet because it's possibly the next step in saving someone's life. So right now we're uh, applying the tourniquet around a limb. It's a simple blue strap that can save lives. And it really is that first um, intervention um, to help control hemorrhage, which um, is the number one preventable cause of death and trauma. Dr. Jody Coates is a trauma surgeon at Mercy San Juan Medical Center. She and others at the center have been offering their help at Stop the Bleed Tourniquet Training, which has grown in popularity in the last few years. There are several uh, fairly simple, uh, consistent steps that can be used to control hemorrhage uh, in a patient that's bleeding from a variety of circumstances. Jennifer Rubin says she's taken a variety of first aid classes. She tells CBS 13 she took this course as another way to help those in need. It makes you feel confident that you can do something to help before the first responders arrive. Oh, they shoot it. Who shoot at a garlic festival, bro? There have been reports of victims in the Gilroy shooting applying tourniquets on themselves and others. Coates says hearing that people knew how to stop the bleeding could start a movement. I think that helps a lot with empowering the community to help uh, save other members of the community, their family members, their friends, even strangers. Ruben says it's a sense of encouragement people need regardless of the situation. I think it's important to know that you can do something to help in an emergency, no matter who you are, even if you're not medically trained. Dr. Coates says if you don't have a professional tourniquet kit, you can use a t-shirt to clot the wound and even a belt or a tie to help stop the bleeding. If you want to figure out where these training sessions are coming to your area, just head on over to our website and click on the story. Yeah, it seems like it's a sign of the times. Ryan, thank you so much.